No, I think this answer, if I were to ask it to Jen. Do you believe in the supernatural, Jen Dalton? Yes! See? You might start after going on the original Vivi Ghost Tour. Here with more is Angie Satterfield, creator of this tour. And we were talking as uh, John was finishing up whether this is something you kind of had an interest in and then started doing a little research and that's why we are where we are. It just sort of went from there. Always was a little curious. Moved uh, to a small town, Vivi. Yeah. And just started hearing stories, people talking about, oh, this place, that place. Uh, I work in the theater down there, yeah. did some plays, and some things happened while we were there, a group of us. And I'm like, this is kind of crazy. So yeah, we're talking just, slamming doors uh, and that We're kind talking of thing. Um, figures and doors opening, actually. Ah. Yeah, kind of enough to make you go, uh, it's so, time for me to go home so now. That's not right. Yeah. yeah. Nobody was here. How did that happen? <laughs> so uh, just sort of got curious, did some research, looking things up. Uh, we have a newspaper. It's been there forever. So, yeah. you know, it goes back 170 years. So we we're able to research oh, tons looking through some of, those things. of the Must old stories, fine. things that have happened. Um, you know, we go through the old jail where Vincivius Carter was held, who was a local resident. And listen to the name. Really? Vincivius? I know, right? Perfect. He, he murdered a family oh. of five in Dearborn County, and then they captured him, and he, they held him in our jail, and oh, wow. crazy things ensued. So, yeah, I mean, there's, like, great, great I shouldn't say great, but weird stories like okay. that yeah. that are associated with some of the places that we get to go and check out. So. And in a small town like Vivi, like you say, there's got to be a number of those places where there are older buildings and things that, you know, have these, these histories to them that people have perhaps grown into legend, you know, by Yeah, now. you know, and, and it's like any story, you know, what's fact, what's fiction. We go to uh, the Switzerland County Museum, and it was an 1860 building, but we get to meet Mary Wright and hear about her story of a broken heart and what happened at the end when, tomb, when her tombstone was struck by lightning. Ah. And, it, you know, like crazy things like that. We go into an inn that's been there since 1833, and hear the story of a man that's seen naked running down the halls and banging on doors. What? Uh, yeah, yeah. So we have, we not only have specters, we have naked specters. Naked and specters and BB for that. crying out loud. <laughs> and, and new this year, we get to go in the courthouse basement. Yeah. So in uh, the uh, 1850s courthouse, we get to go down into the basement where there are tunnels and vaults where they actually held prisoners at one point in time. And uh, ghost groups have researched it and they've gotten uh, uh, recordings, growls and scratching, things like that. And they play it back. It's kind of kind of makes you go, uh, okay. Is something not right yeah, here. Yeah. Well, if people want to find out more information, they want to come check it out. What's the best way to do that? Best way to do that is uh, we have a Facebook page we update. Okay. It's the original VV Ghost Tour. If you're interested in tickets, you can get those by calling the Julia Knox House, 812-427-3338. We have tours this coming Friday, Saturday, and next Friday. And those start at 7, and then Friday night from yeah. 11 p.m. to 2 a.m., we have an actual ghost hunt going on nice. at the Hoosier Theater that you can take part in. That so. sounds like fun. We'll get a link to the Facebook page over at local12.com as well. And then very quickly, this is not your only gig. you got to put up with John Gum like every morning. Is that right? Every morning he gives us a call down at Froggy hey. Radio. <laughs> yep, yep. We uh, usually talk about food. He's got this fascination with food or something. I don't know. I have no idea where that comes from. Certainly not from any of us here. Uh, all right, Angie, thank you so much for coming. Thanks. We appreciate it. And we'll be right back.